My name is Jasmine Sawyers. I'm a professional long jumper for Adidas from Great Britain, and I'm currently in training for global competitions. I first tried long jumping when I was about seven or eight years old at school. I went from club level to city level, county, national, and eventually international. One of my other passions aside from sport is the environment. It's important to me not to waste my old clothing. More recently, I've started transforming some of my old gear into new things, and it feels like a totally new piece of clothing. Normally when I do this, there's nobody to watch me being an idiot and get it like really wrong. Where is my seam? Does this have a setting? No. What if I make a mistake? I'm really excited to upcycle something into an outfit that I can wear myself, but I am a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna jump on a call with a pro who's gonna be able to give me some tips, some pointers, and hopefully help me make something that I'm gonna love. Hi. <laughs> Right from the first bat. Okay, let's try again. Hey, Jess. So nice to meet you. You too. I'm a fashion designer. I guess I'm here to guide you through your upcycling journey today. <laughs> What's made you want to learn how to do it? I have been very aware, especially over the past few years, that so many of our clothes end up in landfill. Anything that we can be doing at the moment to reduce our waste is a positive thing. Hopefully, you can help me make something. Handkerchief. Oh, so cute. Oh. So what am I going to need to make that? Any regular fit t-shirt will be fine. I'm so glad that you've sent over the patterns. If anybody else wanted to make something like this, where could they go? If you've got access to a printer you can just google pattern for free and you can just download it there's usually like quite a lot of like paper patterns in like charity shops or in like your local fabric shops there for the environment because you can keep reusing it <laughs> do you have any last minute advice just take your time because it's supposed to be an enjoyable experience i've got the t-shirt that i'm going to be turning into Jess's adorable handkerchief top. So first thing I'm gonna do, cut out the pattern. Make sure I keep the seam allowance in. That was a mistake that I made early on in my sewing journey. I'm glad I've worked a bit with patterns before because I think some of these things might confuse me. For example, there's only one of these, but it says cut two. That just means cut two into the fabric. Oh, I'm gonna cut it, but now I'm nervous because if I make a mistake, then Mm, that's it. Ooh, okay, 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 I'm gonna cut it. I think it looks pretty good. These will be my main pieces that I will sew together. I need to remember to sew them the correct way around. When you cut the straps out, pull it, it will curl in on itself like this. You just need to make sure you iron it really well to get like a nice edge on it. And then there's a tiny bit of hand sewing involved as well. You need the hole to turn it inside out. Put this to one side while I rip open the rest of the shirt to make the straps. If you're trying to undo the seam of an overlocked stitch, if you snip right at the edge of where it's overlocked, you should then pull it apart much more easily. The side straps are attached. I'm now gonna attach the neck straps and then pin all the way around and just sew it together, leaving a tiny space so I can turn it back inside out. So I think I'm ready to start sewing. I have over pinned this because I don't trust myself to sew in a straight line without pins. Oh, and first mistake. I didn't have the thread long enough and it's just come out of the needle. If you're watching, so I wanna get it right. This is what it's supposed to look like, right? It looks good. I mean, I didn't, I'm acting like I drew the pattern. I didn't. The final steps, iron all the seams. That's the key to making things look more professional. And I have an adorable little summer top from what used to be a t-shirt. If you have time, I have a skirt. It's, it's a bit more complicated. Now nah, that makes me nervous. So this is made out of a pair of Adidas trackies. The only difficult thing was just arranging the pattern so there was enough fabric for it ties and that's made out of like a stripe from a adidas tracky bottom as well so you don't have to like sew it because it's already we're done for you okay now for the skirt i've cut the back pieces i have cut the front pieces now i'm going to attach them before i sew them together i'm now cutting these stripes off from a different part of the jogging bottoms so that i can use these as the tie around strap for the skirt because it's a wrap around this was a little more challenging than the top 
all the different pieces needed to be put together in the right way. So I'm gonna finish off this one edge and then take it off the sewing machine, pull the pins out and show you what we've got. My outfit is complete. I'm too excited to try this on. I wanna go now. Okay, let's go. Here's my outfit. Look how it's turned out. Mm. You know, as an athlete, you do the same thing over and over and over, just trying to get this much better at the exact same thing. So it's actually become really fun for me to try something that I'm bad at. And it doesn't have to be something that you can show the world. It can be just for you. Did I lose the strap? Yes. 